Hey everybody, this is Joseph, and welcome to your 11th or 12th Q, I can't remember, uh, QML tutorial. And in this tutorial, we are going to discuss uh, images. So let's uh, get started here. Qt Quick 2 UI, choose, call it images. Next, no version control, finish. Let's get this text out of here. Okay, let's turn this into an item. Okay, and let's uh, insert an image. I'm hitting P instead of tab for some reason. And we'll call this QT logo. And for the file, let's uh, go get a file off the internet. So here's a picture we'll save this image as and we'll save it underneath Joseph templates uh, images the directory we just created and I'm going to save it as QT logo um, save it so now we can go and type in QT logo because it knows the directory that it's in um, we can also you know uh, add directories we could do the whole home Joseph, etc., until we got to it, but it knows that it's right here because of the uh, QML project files. If we look at that, it says images directories, and it looks at the directory and looks down it. Um, and we could manually add files here too if we wanted to. Anyways, um, let's run this and take a look at it. There it is. Okay. Now let's uh, let's uh, cut it in half. So let's let, let's say um sources size and we'll say uh, let's give an ID to our let's give this the ID of root to our item there and we'll say root dot actually let's see sources size dot with width and we'll do root dot width divided by two and we'll do that with the height also too. Run that again. There we go. And let's anchor center. Let's go. Anchors. Oops. Not cankers. Horizontal center parent, or like we might as well just type in root. Run that. Oops. Root dot horizontal center. Whoops. There we go. Now let's add some. Uh, let's clean this up. Let's add some text. And we're going to call this uh, testing. And for this, we are now going to just leave this like that. And we are going to say visible. And for right now, we're going to say false. There we go. Let's run that. And we shouldn't see it. It should be the same thing. That's good. And let's uh, anchor. bottom and we'll say a QT logo actually let's do anchor top QT logo dot bottom now let's say top margin and we'll give it 10 now let's uh, comment that out and just put some jumble in there so we can see it and there it is and let's say We'll say horizontal center, and we'll say QT logo dot horizontal center. Run that again. There we go. Okay. Let's change this part right here back to be that. 
Okay, now why we all added all that text and everything like that um, is because we are going to be looking at some other things here. So let's clean this up a little bit and let's look at source. We don't have to use the source from where we're at. We can use the source from online too also, right? So I can go um, say over to this right here and copy the image URL. Go back to our and for the source I just add in that URL. Run this and it's loading, 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 loading. There it is. Okay, so uh, we can do thing. Let's let's take a look at the help page for image. And let's move this over. Okay, so asynchronistic means that it's not getting it from your file system. Okay, so you're getting it online or some other place. Cache, you can cache the file and you can uh, do it. Fill enumeration is if you want to add like tiled or something of that nature. Um, you can look at all four of them. Mirrored is exactly what it sounds like, and so is painted height and painted width. We can see that we have progress right here. Okay, so let's play with that. Let's go back over to our logo and let's say on progress changed. Okay, and let's start. Let's add an if statement in here. We'll say if progress Ugh. if progress is equal 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 is less than one and we're going to say testing dot text equal to loading. And now let's say else testing dot text. And that's just good right there for right now. So let's look at uh, what progress does. Um, actually, it's like zero point whatever until it's one when once it's at one then it's loaded right so um exactly this property holds the progress of image loading from 0.0, .0 nothing loaded to 1.0 which equals finished so we're saying if the progress is less than one change uh make the testing text equal to loading so let's try and let's uh we'll take this visibility part out of here and we'll run that Wonderful. Okay. So there it is. And it said, you know, if loading. Now we need to make it changed, right? So let's use status for that. Um, let's look at status here. And we can see if it's loading, if there's an error, if it's ready, or um, if it just, if it's null, right? So let's go on status changed. And we're going to be making some more if statements here. We'll say if status is equal 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 to image dot ready meaning that it's it's been loaded and it's good we'll say testing dot text is equal to your image is loaded from, and let's put a new line there, and let's say plus source. Your image is loaded. There it is. Your image is loaded from there. Well, this is Joseph. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the images. Have a good one and be nice to everybody out there.